mystery box of fun. <laughs> yes, it is. So what's in the mystery box of fun? I'm a huge Batman fan, and I found out that there was a really important limited edition Batman and Joker offered at the 2013 San Diego Comic-Con. So I stood in line all night to find out it did come with two of the pieces that I was chasing and a special metallic Skeletor. OK. Uh... <laughs> I'm here today at the pawn shop to sell my collection of Funko Pop vinyl toys. Well, I'm a lifelong Batman fan, and so I got these at the 2013 San Diego Comic-Con. I was hoping to get $3,000 today for the collection. If I'm able to walk out of here today with $3,000, I'm a sushi chef, so I was able, hoping to put that money towards getting some new knives. Funko's a really incredible company. They started coming out with them in the 90s, and then Funko changed hands, I think, right around 2005, and a new guy took over and really marketed it, and it just sort of blew up. You wouldn't think it. It's a vinyl toy, you know what I mean? So we have Skeletor vinyl. We all know who the Joker is. I mean, you don't even have to put Joker on this thing. Everyone, you just look at that, and you know it's the Joker. Absolutely. And, um... Batman as a little kid, I guess. These are pretty cool. I know these things can go for a fortune. There's people who collect just Funko toys. You know, I was happy with these being a part of my collection, but then recently discovered that they might be worth something. OK. Um, so how much are you looking to get out of these? $3,000. $3,000. OK. Um, all right, I know some of these go for crazy money. I didn't know they go for that kind of crazy money. Let me call someone who knows a lot more about this stuff than I do because I just generally don't deal in Bunko Skeletors. <laughs> no problem. First time in my life, I wish Chum was here. <laughs> Got Skeletor. <laughs> we have the Joker and we have Batman. What this was was um, in 2013, and pretty much every year since, um, Funko has produced what they call the mystery box of fun. You purchase it, and you don't know which ones you're going to get. The mascot for Funko is Freddy Funko. Okay. And so your Joker and the Batman here are Freddy Funko dressed as the Joker and as Batman. When they do that, they limit the numbers on these. OK. I know these can go <laughs> for money, but he wants like crazy money for these things. The box condition and the actual paint application on the vinyl, they are part of that value of the figure. Let me see and just kind of look at the condition here. And that looks pretty nice overall. You have a little bit of box damage up here in the top corner, so it does affect, say, his value a little bit. The Joker uh, seems like his box looks really nice. Looks like this is a really nice example of one. Um, so he looks to be in near mint condition, so that's nice. And Batman um, looks like this box is in pretty good condition, too. It does have, looks like, one little box crease there. Um, so they're nice overall, though, and this is a very desirable set of these figures. All right, so what are they worth? With the box and the set being in nice condition and what they are, I think you'd have no problem getting $2,800 for the set. OK. Um, learn something new every day. <laughs> Thanks. Good luck. Thank you. <sighs> Would you take 1500 bucks? I can't take any less than 2000 Will you go 16 Can you do 1950 I'll go 1800 I know they're really highly collectible, but I mean, just anything more than that just doesn't make sense to me. OK. Well, I appreciate your time today. All right. Um. Change your mind, come back and see me. These toys mean a lot to me, and I'm very close to these things, so I couldn't see myself parting with them for less than $2,000 today.